Paul, there's a lot of at least optimism that perhaps this could solve the mystery. Hi, Angie. It's an encouraging lead. Let's put it that way. Uh, this image was taken by a French satellite and shows 122 objects uh, scattered across the surface of the ocean, and that would suggest a possible debris field, uh, but you've got to uh, stress the word possible. Uh, the objects also range in size from a small one metre across uh, to 23 metres in length. Now, 23 metres is about twice the size of a shipping container, so it's too big to be that, but it is about the right dimension for a Boeing 777 wing, so an encouraging lead there. Uh, however, it's not all good news, as it never is in this uh, mystery. Uh, the image was taken on Tuesday uh, before that bad weather rolled in, so obviously these objects will have drifted and to where goodness knows. Uh, also, it's impossible to tell whether or not they're even connected to missing flight MH370 until somebody can get in there and physically take a look. Now, planes are up again in the area today, uh, way, way, way to the southwest of Perth. Uh, however, more bad weather is expected to roll in later this afternoon. Uh, high winds, three metre swells are being forecast. Uh, but the good news is, is after that latest front has rolled through, uh, the forecast is for a few days of clear weather. So hopefully those search crews will be able to get to this area, locate those objects and have a good look at them, Angie. Well, what about this new search equipment? It's arrived. Is that going to help at all? Uh, once they find out uh, where they want to be looking, it should arrive. Uh, this is a U.S. Navy piece of kit. It's called a towed uh, ping locator. Uh, this is a, a device which is towed behind a ship very slowly, and it can pick up the pings from the black box or the flight recorder. Now, as I mentioned, they don't have an area to take it to yet, but at least it is in Perth, uh, so it's ready to go once the search area is narrowed down. Now, analysts say that this will help, uh, but it does have its limitations. It all depends on how accurate your initial search area is. Um, so you really need to establish a fairly firm datum of where the wreck is. Um, and then if you have a firm datum, the success rate of picking up the ping is actually quite high. Well, right now that firm data simply doesn't exist. And an Australian Air Force official the other day described this as uh, not even a needle in a haystack situation. Right now they don't even know where the haystack is. And that uh, pinger locator also needs to be just about above the black box to detect it. Uh, and uh, right now that's looking like a pretty tall ask indeed, Angie.